Oh, it landed. Ah, uh, yeah, we got the, the big block out. And we're going to throw the small block in. Huh. I've ran into a couple problems. I promised you guys we was going to put the small block in. So that's what I'm doing. I want to see if we can beat 43 with a small block. The mounting hole is different size for this 2868 4000 kV motor. It's smaller than the 3650 2000 kV motor. So I just drilled it out. I used a feeler gauge, antique filler gauge, and just kind of got my holes, and then I, dr I drilled the holes in the mount. Got to be super careful, not a lot of material there, so you got to be really careful. I drilled the hole small, and just kind of filed it out with a f flat file. So I ran into another problem. This one has a 5 millimeter shaft, which I knew I'd run into this problem. This one has a 4 millimeter shaft. My 4 millimeter collet won't work it's too long it's too long for the boat okay see see how much longer it is all right so what i've done is i've made an adapter to go in my collet on the motor shaft all right and all it is is a 3 16 0.014 brass tube that i've cut to size basically to fit in my collet i actually need to shave a little bit off and i drilled a hole in it you see that so basically what that little 3 16 brass tube is going to do is it's going to act as a shim we're going to put the the hole right on the flat spot all right and it's all right if it goes all the way up onto the motor actually the smaller this is the better shaft and then your collet just slides right on there just as pretty as you ever want to see all right and uh that's it that's it that's all you gotta do to make yourself a little shim for your for your collet and it actually works on propellers as well if you could find the right size brass tube that'll fit on your your propeller shaft and it's uh, the right size inside diameter as the outside diameter you can actually shim up propellers so you could put like a 3 16 prop on a four millimeter shaft all right. Put a little bit of Loctite on my shaft. A really short collet. And that shim will actually take up valuable space for our flex cable to sit in. So I'm going to take a little bit off the end of it. I got mine where she fits snug. And you just want to make sure that that, that set screw is going to go where that hole is. You want to make sure the set screw goes in that hole area. Okay. Alright. You see that? About right there. 5mm collet on a 4mm shaft. Alright. Put her in the boat. If you can't find the right brass tube, I wouldn't do it. You know, you can't really shim these things up or nothing. So, you've got to get the right size, right thickness, so that it's not like out of whack, basically, out of balance. So, I don't know if this motor is going to do any good or not. I don't know. We're testing it out. I want to see if we can do any better than 43 with a small block and then and then I'm probably gonna have to make that mount because I, I can't find any in stock then I'll throw this big boy in stock motor is 6.8 ounces the TP is 12.8 so it's basically double the weight so we're gonna have to make up for the weight in the back of the boat with battery so this is a 3650 TP power motor and this is a 3650 dynamite motor. This one is a, actually 73 millimeters long. 
and this is a true 3650 but this is actually deemed a TP power 3650 but it's not 50 inches long <laughs> Right, we got the we got the the 24 back out as you guys seen I put a small block in it we're out at the small small pond here uh, we've been getting 43 miles per hour with this boat consistent with the stock motor this ESC on 4s so we're gonna try a 30c 2200 milliamp 3s battery then we're gonna try a 4000 milliamp 25c 3s battery and then we're going to put a 4s battery and see what we're getting with it all right see if the boat runs any better with a small block so let's see what we got on 3s 2200 milliamp wow holy cow a little small block will turn now 4000 kv She's got some some torque with that little prop. Little bit of a bounce because I got the weight in there toward the back. All right, let's see what we uh, see what we got. And that that motor is also just a little bit lighter than the stock motor. Just a little bit lighter. All right, temperature's good. Temperature's good. 41 with a 2200 milliamp 30C battery. All right, so let's put 41, 41. So let's put 4000 mAh battery on the, oh no, did I leave the, oh, I left my adapter at home, you guys. So we got 41 with a 30C 2200 milliamp battery. Now let's put this 100C 5000 milliamp battery in here. All right, let's see if this does any better than 41. I think with that 4S battery, I think we'll get in the low 50s, maybe even Upper or upper 40s, maybe low 50s. Ooh, that, that battery's got some power, son. All right, let's get us a run in 5,000 3S 100C. Heavier battery. Wow. All right, one more time into the wind. Into the wind. It's blowing. You could probably hear it on the microphone. All right, one more pass. With the wind. Full trigger. Oh. Oh, it landed it. Oh, that's gotta be a 50s. That's gotta be in the 50s, y'all. All right, here one more time. I pulled the trigger too hard. Pulled the trigger too hard. Let's let it cool down a little bit. If you do a couple high speed passes, always do like a cool down run. Make sure you got water coming out, you're cooling. All right, I think that's gonna be the upper 40s. Upper 40s, got lucky when it flipped. I'm not done blueprinting this hole. I actually just painted it again. <laughs> Whoa, 51! 51 can y'all see that 51 with a small block in it and it's not even hot let's bring the temp gun yep i got the temp gun let's check the temperature 51 in this little pond all right so 95 on the esc 91 on the motor 
So we're going to try, try the small block. We've tested the, the stock motor, and then we're going to put a big block in it. It's double the weight of this motor and the stock motor. That TP3650, it's double the weight. So we're going to try it out with that one later on. Let's see. All right. Record. Zeroed out. Oh, God. It's probably going to get higher than 50. It's got to get higher than 50. It might blow over, though. Probably need to put the strut down. I got the battery forward. Uh, I, I, it blew over with, the, with that heavy battery in it. So I don't know what it's going to do with this light battery. It's probably going to blow over without adjusting the strut, fine-tuning the boat. We're just, uh, we're just tinkering around, seeing what this thing will do with different motor sizes, different battery sizes. That way I know which way to go when I do a final build on this boat. All right, here we go. Linear throttle. Oh, I didn't even make it up full trigger. I didn't even make it up the full trigger, y'all. I didn't even make it up the full trigger. All right, letting your throttle. Got some weeds in the prop. Let's see what we got. I'll give it another run. I just want to check the temp real quick. Let's see what we got. I don't think it was 51. I didn't get it up full trigger. 50 50 all right i'm gonna move his battery forward all the way forward all right um record zero it out i'm actually gonna put this gps up a little farther up get some weight up front keep the bow down i hadn't adjusted the strut just kind of a sweet spot i found but that right there, I swear that thing right there helps. It, it really does. It don't lift the back of the boat up as much. But you want a little bit of lift back there. A little bit of lift. Not much. All the way in the corner. Let's, uh, let's wait for the ripples to cool down. See if we can get better than 51. We go. Full trigger. She lifted up on me. When she lifts up on you like that, you lose speed. So let's uh, let's wait for it to cool down here. See if we can get 51, 54, 55. Full trigger. Ooh. I need to start taping this thing up. It's getting up over 50 mile an hour. I need to start taping the lid on it. What? 55. Oh my God. Look at that boat. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. 55 with a small block. She's a little warm. Let's, let's check the temp with the small block. With the small block in it. 100 degrees, 94, 95, 100 on the end bell, 103 on the front back end bell, 127, 117 on the ESC. And that's probably from like punching it, messing around with it a while ago. So 55. So I guess I didn't charge all my cells on this 5S battery. I must have missed one because I only only like punched it a couple times and then it died out so so we're not going to do that one all right um let's see if i got a 2s battery yep got a 2s battery let's try this one this is a 2s 5050c venom battery we got it zeroed out all right so uh, we ran it on 3s 5000 we ran it on 3s 2200 we ran it on 4s 2200 let's try 2s 5050C. Let's see what it does with this guy. <laughs> Don't sound. <laughs> Don't sound as powerful. All right. Yeah. All right. So I think we'll get 30 with it. 
cold trigger. Thousand two S. Cold trigger. Five thousand two S. That's about stock speed right there. It's about stock speed. Thirty one. So that's exactly what I was getting on three S with this with uh with the stock motor. So I just wanted to kind of do a, a comparison with the small block in the stock motor. Um, just kind of showing you guys that you don't always have to put a bigger motor in your boat to get more speed. Uh, and not always, you know, batteries, battery size plays a big role in the performance of your boat. So always keep an eye on your weights. You know, when you're putting extra stuff in your boat, keep an eye on how much weight you're putting in it. Uh, light boats or fast boats. Uh, make sure it's more efficient. Make sure you don't have any drag in the water. Uh, big blunt edges, kind of blueprint your your running gear. Blue, you know, if, if you want to get into this aspect of it, this is a big project to take on. Do your research. Try to try to learn as much as you can about how a boat rides. What these lines, what all these lines are for. What they do on a boat. How they work. What they, what they do for the boat when it's up on plane. Uh, so, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bells and all those whistles. Uh, get notified for future builds, future projects. As always, thank you guys for watching.